Hello my friends, how are you? I've got some new kits. So I've got this Bronco kit. I've never done a Bronco kit before, so this will be interesting. This Stug that you can convert to a later one with the longer cannon, which will be really cool. Um, I've also got some oil and petrol cans. It's got a really cool decal sheet on it. Got the Hungarian tank crew. Which will be interesting. Something different. We can make a Hungarian tank. And I got the new hybrid Sherman Firefly. It's got the upgraded tracks instead of those old plastic or, you know, the rubber tracks or whatever they are. Yeah, which will be good. But let's have a look at this one here. It's got a really nice instruction manual. But this really doesn't make any sense in English. You can, um, the Chinese really struggle with converting what they want to say into English. It doesn't really make sense. Although you can make sense out of it, it's, it's horrible. The um, And I found that with a lot of the uh, Chinese manufacturers, their English translations are really bad. They don't really make sense, especially with border models as well. Um, as you can see here, you, it's, you know, good quality. The whole thing is this sort of gloss paper. Um, you get a little metal barrel. That looks really cool. You get really thick copper wire. Um, you get two sets of tracks. Um, they're just the ones that you glue together. So you get an older set of tracks and the later set, I mean, an early set of tracks. You get a couple of really good photo etch frets and um, you get this decal sheet. I'm not sure how the decal sheet's going to come out, but it looks pretty good. Um, um, the tools don't look that great, but let's have a look anyway. Um, just looks like a basic, you know, uh, you get reminders of um, right field models, sort of, don't you, when you're looking at the instructions and how they go together. But there's a lot of different interesting little things that they do that are different and that are, seem to be quirky to Bronco, which is good. Every model company has its different feel. You see, it's really easy to put together. Real simple little process. Unlike the dragon instructions where they, they pack in all this information in one area. Really easy, really simple stuff. You get a metal barrel. You could use the plastic one if you want. That's got its rifling in it, the plastic one. Or you can go with this one here. Really nice photo etch details. Now all these photo etch clips along here. And these are really cool. And then you get the choice. So yeah, you either use those tracks for the older ones or the later tracks. And they give you a couple of options. So that really doesn't look that great, does it? Or you can use this older one. This is a 1942 version. Or you can go with the 1941 classic, the 190, was it? 192. But I don't know about the position of those decals. You probably want to research that first. Let's have a quick look at the plastic. Hey, Elsie, what are you doing? Where'd you come from? So, here we got this first brew here. You can see this is all in one big part. It's been molded in one big part. Now, I don't know if you can see the weld lines here, along there, but they look very exaggerated. And they stick out quite a bit. I don't, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing at the moment. It will be quite unique to this kit. And we'll have to see what it looks like when it's painted. But yeah, that does look like very exaggerated um, weld lines. But you can see the, the actual clips, they look good. The detail on the fenders looks, you know, pretty good, fine.
Everything else looks, you know, rather average. Nothing out of place or anything like that. We have got this here. So they give you two options, one with the machine gun and one without. And that's the cannon there. So it's in one piece. And then you get the muzzle brake. Here we have more parts. There's the exhausts. That's the front plate there. Let's see what it looks like on the other side. So that's um, the ejector marks. But you won't see the inside of this one, but it would be annoying if you're going to do a in full interior, wouldn't it? It has to go quite a bit. Um, you can see here we've got the short barrel 75 and that's got this rifling it's been very well slide molded and it actually looks pretty good and that's all the short barrel stuff they don't have any holes slide molded in the bottom of them so you have to drill that out These look a bit odd. Let's have a look on the other side. No. Um, I don't think you can really pick it up on the camera, but it's got some lines on it. And you can see the person who was inspecting it got tripped out on it and he's actually hit it with a file. But it feels smooth, so I might sand it up, but still that's an issue. Here we've got some wheels. Now, the wheels have got Continent U written on them. So right at the end, it's got a U instead of an L. I suppose you could fix that up. Just sort of sand out half of the, the U, hey. But apart from that, looks really nice. I think they're the spare wheels. Oh no, they're not the spare wheels, they're the actual wheels. So you got the so you got the sprue here, another sprue here for the actual wheels, and then you've got the spare wheels here. And I'm also seeing a part that's already broken. Which is not good. But they look alright, you know, for the Panzer three wheels, they look okay. And then you've got the return rollers, they've got Continent U written on them. These things look pretty good though, don't they? That's the other side. So they'll just glue together pretty easily. Then we've got the main fighting compartment here. So this gets removed, of course, this rear part. And that middle part there. Got some nice lines. The interior's got some ejector marks that will need to be removed if you're into that. I probably won't because you won't see it. And this is the bath, what is a bathtub style? They even put in a little thread of plastic wing nuts, that'll be handy. That's really handy. That's cool. This is the wire, and as you can see, look how thick it is. It's very, very thick. I think that's way too thick. But that's okay, that can go in the spares basket. Um, this is pretty average. I wouldn't say it's great, and I wouldn't say it's bad. But you do get some nice texture along the bottom here, where... Um, That's textured, and that's not textured. Pretty nice. Make things a lot easier. Then we've got some more parts here for the fighting compartment, the exterior of it. And then we've got, on this part here, really 
exaggerated world lines. Very exaggerated world lines, but they might work out, you know, we never know. Let's see what it looks like when it's painted. Here you've got the tools. You know, you got some different options for shovels and spades, and they're not too bad. They they look nice. And this is a bit average, a bit average. They're okay, two different types. I don't really like these, so I don't think they're acceptable. Let's see if I've got some spare photo etched ones. Um, yeah, okay. Nothing outstanding. And here we got the wheel, so you've got two different types. You've got one without the bolts and one with the bolts, and this looks pretty good. The return rolly thingy majigami, the rear one, and this would be the base, the rear plate one, which you glue it to, and then it's got a, yeah, it's just got a peg you can put it into the tank with. So you can choose the bolted one or the non-bolted one. I'm not sure which one was the early and which one was the late. I can't quite remember. I think this is the later one, I think. Exactly the same. Um, we've got those details there. See how they've got a nice little detail on the front? They look pretty good. I actually like them. And I don't know what this is. A little plate CE thingy. Um, so we get the older tracks and you get four sprues of that. I might open that up and keep them. I'll show you the later tracks. So you just get them on a sprue like this. They're in brown and it's got three connection points. So one on the front and then something different that I've never really seen before is they've got it right on that little joint part there. So with careful cutting, I think you could just cut these out and put them together. Without, you know, really mucking around too much. And as you can see, there's no ejector marks you need to get rid of or anything like that. So I don't think they'll be as bad as it looks or as hard to build as it looks. I love these things, you know what I mean? This is my favorite way of modeling tracks, but it does take a fair bit of work. And these have got uh, the older type of metal pattern on the wheel. The earlier ones have got a different style. But yeah, you get a full set of spare tracks, which is good. Um, we've got some more those and you can see the big ejector marks on the rear. And in here we've got just two little plastic clear lights but they're just really small. All right so now we can go to the photo etch. Let's have a look at that. So you get this bag here. This is the decal sheet. As you know what I mean, it's hard to really tell at the moment. Like you can see very little carrier film around everything and it does look thin, so... They might be okay, they might be good. But it does look Chinese, like they do look like um, Chinese decals. Not the high quality mini art ones or dragon ones that are used. Um, these are quite thick. There's quite a bit of thickness to them. I've just been working on a dragon kit and their photo watch is super, super duper thin. Uh, so they're for the wheels. And then, you know, you, they put those in instead of the, everyone else uses plastic. So that's interesting, that's different. Those clips they use to you know, pull the parts off the machine. There's the crane. They've got some good bend marks, so I think they're, yep, yep, they get bended. Bent. Bended, I don't know if that's a word. And then we've got the second one here. And that's got a whole heap of cool things, like clips and uh, the exhaust there. But it, it's 
Not too thick, but it's pretty thick. It's not as thick as Ming stuff, but yeah, it's getting there. Interesting. And then you've got this really, really nice metal barrel. And it's like, oh, God. I want to build the long barrel one, but this is so nice. But it would be something good for the spares drawer, won't it? And, God, it looks accurate with the scale too, doesn't it? Anyway, guys, that's the Bronco Stook 3 off CD that can be converted into a late war um, conversion, which is really cool. All right, my friends, I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.